What's up guys, welcome back to your, let's see, 18th XHTML tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the correct way to bold and italicize text. So I remember like probably 10 tutorials ago, I showed you guys how to bold and italicize text by surrounding them with special tags. And while this is indeed a valid way, you actually can do that and it'll work in most browsers. It's not the best way and it's not going to be the way that people do it in the future. So a better way to bold and italicize text is through CSS. Anytime you change any element or change any of the properties of XHTML, it's better to use CSS other than, you know, surrounding text with bold tags or something like that. So here is a lot better and more modern way, I guess you could say, of how to make text bold and how to italicize text. So let's go ahead and before we can you know start bolding and italicizing stuff we actually need something to bold so let's go ahead and make two lists um, an unordered list and let me just end this and I guess we can just like put one element in there we don't need a, need a bunch of elements in there so for the first and only element I'll just put like unordered list and make sure you spell it Dang, did I spell that right? I better not have. And let's just go ahead and copy this. And we'll change this one to order list. And since they both have the LI, we just need to change two letters. So we have one unordered list and one order list. So we just need, I mean, you can use paragraphs or headers or whatever you want. I just needed something to throw in there. So anyways, in order to make the style what you need to do is first write what element you want to change unordered list and then you write what property do you want to change the font weight and that is the technical t technical term for how thick the font is um you can use values i think 500 is the default value so you can use something like 900 800 to make it you know if you say you want it bold you know like varying degrees of boldness I can say but I don't think too many people care that specific how bold they want it I mean did you ever hear a guy says yeah that's bold but I want it bolder you know no one says that so anyways um you can just throw in bold as your value and you know you'll be happy most of the time so let's go ahead and uh that is you know the proper way I want to say in order to bold font so in order to italicize font go ahead and we'll italicize the order list we just made and go ahead and the property is font style and as the style just go ahead and write italic and this is gonna italic or italicize any of your ordered list so let's go ahead and save this and refresh it and see what we get we got one on unordered list that is bolded and one ordered list that is italicized so again like I said while you can technically surround it in those B bold tags or EM emphasis tags this is a lot easier way and it's the pretty much the correct way to do stuff. So. that old stuff was kind of old school and this is the new school so get used to this and uh, you'll thank me later on so anyways that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time